My name is Dean Roberts, and I am the CEO and co-founder of Three Tone. I'm Chris Borrad. I am the managing director of Three Tone. Three Tone came to be by myself at the moment in my career, feeling that I need to be doing something else. I need to be thinking of the future. And management had always been a, a sort of thought process that I felt that I'd sort of go towards. And, and for me, it was a case of so many artists were coming through. I feel that I need to have a, a partner. And I just so happened to be friendly with Christopher Borrett, who is one of the best MDs in the business. came to a place in my life where I was looking for other opportunities and Dean asked me if I would be interested in looking after an artist and that's how this whole venture really started and then it's all grown from there really. He was the chap that would take a record and make it sound great live and every time we did stuff together he just bought the tracks and, and the music alive. So it was very much a case for me that whenever I did something, I'd want him with me and I'd want him in the studio. Chris was uh, and had been working the likes of CeeLo Green. Jason Derulo. Alison Moye and Plan B. Yeah, we, we met together on John Newman and he would be the guy that was doing sort of what I needed him to do. He would orchestrate the, the band, he would pull the right artists together. And I think very much for us at that time, it was crucial that we sort of had the professional people in from day one. I suppose if I go back, I was working with Amy Winehouse at the time. And I suppose after unfortunately losing Amy, I, I took a year out and, that, and it was at that time that I got offered somebody, an artist that we have now, uh, to start managing. And, and that's when I reached out to Chris here to come and join me. As anything, you know, when you do that, you've still got to earn some money. So I went back on the road. I started working with John Newman. Chris and my relationship got even stronger as we were working together. And uh, yeah, the rest is history. If I walked away, would you turn around? The sight of you wants to fight in me. The artist that uh, yeah made me start all those years ago, the the, the early doors of Three Tone was uh, George Linner. Can we can? Which is now Crooked Waters. probably the single most incredible producer I've heard still to this day. So the structure at the moment is we obviously have Three Tone as the overseeing sort of umbrella company. Then we have Three Tone Records, Three Tone Publishing, Three Tone Music, which is our distribution arm. And then we have the management company. And they work as individual companies. We have employees working under these different companies completely separate to one another. Obviously they speak if they need to and so on, but that's the sort of general setup we have. So we will have clients coming in purely for publishing, or we have clients purely coming in for distribution. We have many clients who come in for distribution and publishing. And then obviously we have artists signed to the label who are also part of all of these companies. The main thing that we've done and moved with the times is we've created the distribution arm that we feel is the new focus for the industry. Past six months, we've gained thousands more artists into the, our business. We also have the record side that we concentrate and focus on people's careers. We also now use the musical aspect of distribution for our A&R. we've set up a management company for the distribution. 
that we are able to focus on new acts that are coming through before anyone knows of them. They're already competing in the DSP market, showing their worth, and it's an easy avenue for us to go in and support those artists to get them to a level that we bring across to records. So highlights of three tones so far. Uh, obviously the, the main one for me was the meeting with uh, Chris of the Very Early Doors. And uh, secondly, was meeting Carlton James and uh, Simon Carlton, who have been great partners through all of this. You know, taking Adam, who was a 19 or 19 year old kid that came with an acoustic guitar down to the studio here. We signed him on the spot. You know, so we, we've really sort of got the, our first artist off the ground and up and running. The biggest highlight of it all through COVID is, is to have a company that's grown in stature and grown in uh, workforce. With the distribution arm that we decided and felt was the right thing to do is, is just going from strength to strength. It's really started to put three-tone music on the map. It will just grow and grow, and we're in a great position. We are now a strong force to be reckoned with. We're punching way above our weight at the moment, I think, in terms of what we're actually achieving. We're having some really significant results, landing huge playlists globally, um, seeing stream, streaming counts for artists that they never even dreamed of, landing features of the front pages of um, the different Spotify's around the world and so on, and Apple Music. So, all in all, considering the small team, considering how long we've been at this, all we're getting is great feedback. We're already servicing 200 DSPs. We are looking over the next five years to hit half a million uh, artists on our platform. We'll be a key player within the distribution uh, industry. You know, we have already a number of large labels uh, on our roster. We have a Bristol office, which is the head office, which uh, we have uh, the studio, we have offices above and an apartment for people to stay in the studio. We have an office in Gothenburg. We have the distribution arm in Liverpool. We also have a Munich division uh, where we have introduced uh, Marcus from Napster where our sales division is based. And we've gone from the one artist that we had at the very beginning to thousands of artists. We've uh, also again been very lucky to get Steve Cusack, who was a uh, marketing uh, manager for CD Baby. We have Roki uh, Beck, who was from Ministry uh, Records. With those key members that we have now, and with myself and Chris, we, we just really feel that we have a strong team. And all the team that we have with us now, the 22 that we have are all exceptional in everything they do and are making this company what it is today.